While long considered a fashion choice almost exclusively for women, high heels for men were once all the rage in France in the early 1700s. Men were taking more notice to the shape of their legs and wanted to be taller in an effort to appear more sensual and exotic. Even King Louis XIV jumped on the trend, finally seeing an opportunity to grow a few inches, as his short stature was often the butt of many jokes around the court. Soon after his public appearance in his glamorous high heels, the entire country was in an uproar at where they could purchase such classy shoes. The trend died away almost as quickly as it had started, however, when men began to complain of foot and heel cramps. Women picked up on the trend, where it has long-lasting influence in the fashion world to this day. Functioning as mini stilt shoes, cab cabs were accessories that would allow two shapely pillars to glide across the mud and dirt of Middle Eastern bathhouses with ease. The shoes were often used by royalty and were extremely expensive, though there were some made for common use. Some cab cabs were doused in gold or pearls or made of the finest metals in the land, an odd choice considering that their purpose was to allow the royal family not to get human waste on their feet as they trotted into public areas. They quickly fell out of favor in the bathroom scene and were instead worn by common women in weddings, though the practice was discontinued after some men believed a taller woman emasculated their own appearance. In 2007, heelless shoes made their mainstream debut, much to the confusion of everyone who saw them. While the original designer claimed that there was no medical consequence for wearing the shoes or that they would cause no discomfort to the wearer, many doctors proved otherwise, saying that wearing heelless shoes for extended periods of time could actually warp one's feet or even misalign the spinal cord. While heelless shoes had its moment in the spotlight, especially after Victoria Beckham was spotted sporting them in 2008, they eventually dwindled away due to their painful nature and out right absurd design. Though many fashion aficionados claim that the accessories were never planned to start a trend anyway, and that they were used just to get media attention for their creator Antonio Berardi. A hit in Japan. Gadget shoes is a broad term for any kind of shoe that comes with a special feature. These shoes have over time included holding and charging packs for Game Boys or Nintendo DSs, light-up assortments, hidden compartments for iPods, springs, wheels, vacuums, suction cups, GPSs, and even shoes that conceal a portable human tent. While many gadget shoes have become wildly popular, most notably the wheelie shoes in the United States, they have never truly branched off into a statement that has been admired by the fashion industry. Despite their practicality and coolness, they will likely always be seen as gimmicks. While the creator is currently anonymous, insect unlocked shoes are about as strange and terrifying as you might expect. These shoes allow the wearer to insert living insects, such as tarantulas or centipedes, into see-through compartments in the heels or padding in order to give a bizarre display. While they aren't mass-marketed due to legal reasons and being the center of controversy in a few animal rights lawsuits, they can sometimes be found on Etsy pages or can be bought by individual shoemakers. We don't expect this to be a trend that takes off anytime soon, but it could make for a a very interesting Halloween costume. Toeless shoes have become more of a fashion trend than anyone ever expected them to be. Coming in a variety of designs from high heels to flat bottoms, we can't exactly pinpoint what the practicality of toeless shoes involves, but we can at least safely say that they look relatively interesting. Toeless shoes and open toe shoes, however, are not the same, as open toe shoes are often made to give health benefits to the wearer, while toeless shoes are often created simply for the fashion statement. However, no controversial shoe list would be complete without the addition of Chinese lotus shoes. These accessories, now famous more for their usage in binding and morphing the feet of women in ancient China, have a long history and can still be found in some parts of the country, even though they are now publicly shamed. In the old days, small feet were considered a highly attractive feature, and in order to ensure that a woman would keep small feet for the rest of her life, she was often forced to wear these tiny, curved Chinese lotus shoes, which would eventually deform the growth process and keep her feet in a relatively small size. The practice has mostly been abandoned in contemporary society, but there are still women alive who practice this form of foot binding at a young age. Because of this, they have incredible difficulty walking and getting around, making this fashion story less about a strange and popular trend and more about inhuman suffering due to unrealistic beauty standards.
Not one to shy away from ridiculous and flamboyant fashion, Lady Gaga is often credited for the brief popularity of Alexander McQueen's armadillo shoes, which turned heads back in 2010. The high platform curved shoe is notorious for being unbearably uncomfortable, with multiple critics claiming that it is more effective as a torture device than it is as a fashion item. Still, the shoes went on to massive sales after the famous musician was seen wearing them at an awards show, but they unsurprisingly dropped off in popularity just a few weeks later. Now it seems as though they are nothing more than an odd blight in the fashion world. Before flip-flops ruled from coast to coast as easy footwear, the Indian shoe of the Paducah reigned supreme. Usually made from wood with a small knob separating the big and second toes, these shoes were easily accessible and very popular since they debuted in the 1700s. Royalty also wore the Paducah, dousing them in silver and gold and starting their own fashion trend. But the shoe continued to go through surprising evolutions as time went on, one of which was the creation of the spiked Paducah, which thrust tiny metal or wooden spikes into the foot of the wearer in order to inflict a sharp pain. These masochistic shoes were worn by Indian holy men, who would often find a heightened sexual release after experiencing the pain and engaging in sex soon after. Reverse heel shoes are about as confusing as they sound, and to this day no one seems to be able to understand why they were created, beyond the fact that it sounds interesting in theory. Relatively difficult to find, these shoes unsurprisingly have not started any fashion trends, and will likely be entirely extinct before the year is over. But you can't say whoever made them didn't at least have some creativity going on.